On the bottom, you have the database connectivity. So we'll begin with connecting to a small to our SQL database, and let's see how it works. So when you see the database dropdown, there are two generic database connections, ODBC and OLEDB. And there's a admin data provider dot DLL. Now these most of the databases use ODBC or OLEDB as their default connection method. Now if you if the database is allowing, you can do it. But for some specific databases, there are customized connectors that are available. Like for SAP, Salesforce.com. Google BigQuery, then other legacy systems have specific connectors. Now, what you do is you take the connector, install it on your machine. You will get that as a drop down over here. So the way you're seeing this QV, QV, QVS admin, data provider dot DLL, you'll see SAP connector, you'll see Salesforce.com connector. All the connectors that you install will be available over here. So you can pick the connector, say connect. That's all you'll have to do. Every all the connectors work similarly. You pick the connect connection type once you install the drivers, and say connect. To begin with ODBC, like uh, if you have used ODBC earlier, for any ODBC you'll have to create a system DSM. So, have anybody has anybody created a system DSM earlier? A system DSN actually defines the connectivity to the data sources. ODB for all the ODBC data sources, you'll have to create a system DSN. For that, you'll have to go to your control panel of the system, whichever uh, version you're using. So you can go to administrative tools. So under control panel, under this you'll for Windows 8 onwards, right? So you have the ODBC data sources directly, but in your uh, like in your Windows 7 and all, I think you have something called as data sources separately. You have a like option over here called data sources. Under that, you'll have ODBC defined. But for Windows 8, it is direct. So you select ODBC data sources. Or here, you'll have user DSN, system DSN. DSN is nothing but data source, like, uh, I mean, network. Now you can create a system DSN or user DSN. User DSN will be available only for your, your user ID. System DSN is for generic, generic all the users in the system. So on the server, you create a system DSN. As a best practice on your computer also, go ahead and create a system DSN. So you have two already that I have created. I'll just remove them for now and cre recreate another one. You know, I can't. So I'll go ahead and add. So if you want to add a data source, we'll have to add. Before that, let me show you the SQL server that I have. So this is my SQL server express edition that I have installed. So I'll just say connect. So this is my database. Under this database, I have AdventureWorks. AdventureWorks, these are the tables, human resource, person, production, sales. And these are all my tables that I have. So if you want to query and see what exactly is that, so this is my sales order. Uh, this is the table that we will extract to QED. So if you look at it, I have all the required database that I need. So I'll go back to the system DSN. If I want to add the system DSN, I'll say add. Over here, I'll have to select what database I'm trying to connect. So over here also, I'll have to select. So ODBC is valid for Oracle and multiple other systems. So if you have Oracle, you'll get the Oracle server, Oracle driver, driver over here or anything else. For now, it is SQL Server, so I'll just stick with SQL Server native client, which is my local machine. Or you can pick SQL Server also. I'll say finish. Over here, it will ask the name, so I'll have to name it. So I'll say Adventure Work Database Connection. Okay. Description has no significance. It's just 
how do you describe it for somebody to understand what this is. In the server, you'll have to update this SQL server ad server address. So if you go here, so whatever this address, right, admin space PC SQL Express is what the server name is. So I'll have to update the server name. Next. I don't have to do anything. So I have put integrated Windows authentication. Just in case your database is outside your computer and you don't have Windows authentication, you'll have to give SQL Server authentication using login name. So you select this, it will ask you for a login ID and password. For now, I'll just put integrated authentication. Next. Or here you don't have to do anything, but just uh, in case to be sure, you can change the default database. So here, the default database will be default DBO. Or instead of that, you can just select the database that you want. So basically, Adventure works with what I want. I'll say next. Here, here, all these are standard functions, standard methods, or options. Finish. So the connection is done. Test data source. Test completely completed successfully. So my DSN is created now. So here, this DSN adventure work database is created. Now I go back to my click view, or any other system that I am doing ODBC. I'll select ODBC over here. I'll say connect. So it will list out all the DSNs that are available. So over here, this adventure work was a DSN, right? Data source. So it is given me the option. I'll have to pass, give the password. And my data connection is created. So all ClickView does is it creates a string, which is basically the database connection. Now once I have done this, I'll go to the sales tab. I did the connect first time. Now after the connect and the string is created, I'll do select. 